accidents involving scissor lifts continue to take place. And scissor lift related accidents lead to serious injuries. Scissor lift related accidents include rollovers, falling, getting stuck, and collisions. Now let's take a look at the basic items and inspection methods for scissor lifts and how to operate and maintain them safely. First, let's take a look at the definition of scissor lift and different types. A scissor lift refers to construction equipment that raises and lowers the platform using a scissor type mechanism for working in high areas. Scissor lifts are categorized into wheel types or crawler types depending on the driving mechanism. Next, a scissor lift primarily consists of the following. A working platform with safety rails for workers to ride in. A scissor type support that extends for raising the platform to the desired position. Hydraulics for raising or lowering the platform using oil pressure. The body, which makes up the lower half of the unit, prevents falling and is equipped with a driving mechanism. And wheels, used to move the platform. Main safety devices include an emergency stop button that stops all operations when pressed, an emergency safety switch that lowers the platform when the power has been lost or in emergencies, an overload limiter that stops elevation when the weight limit has been exceeded, an excessive elevation proof device that prevents getting stuck or collisions caused by raising the platform too high automatic safety device that prevents driving when the platform is raised, a moment sensor that signals an alarm when the maximum overturning moment has been reached to prevent rollovers. Next, here are the pre-operation inspections. All scissor lifts manufactured after July 1, 2009 must be safety certified according to the Occupational Safety and Health Act in Korea. There are no legal requirements for the operator and anyone who completed operator training on site can be designated to operate the scissor lift. When the scissor lift is brought into the site, the construction equipment work plan, safety certifications, insurance card, and other necessary documents must be reviewed. The following safety regulations apply when working on scissor lifts. When welding on the working platform, spark covers must be installed on the platform. The level of the ground must be checked to prevent rollovers. The driving path must not have inclines or openings. And when working on exterior walls, additional lifelines must be installed. Next, inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist. Before inspecting the scissor lift, the inspector must wear the necessary personal protective equipment and must check for any hazards in the surrounding area. Scissor lift must be inspected on a flat and firm ground. With the exception of operational status checks, all inspections must be performed while the engine is turned off. First, the inspection method for emergency stop button is as follows. The emergency stop button is a green manual reset button. Make sure that all operations stop when the button is pressed. A damaged emergency stop button may result in failure to stop in emergencies and may lead to secondary accidents. Next, the inspection method for emergency safety is as follows. Raise the platform to a certain level, cut off the power, activate the emergency safety switch, and check if the platform is lowered slowly. If the emergency safety switch does not work, you won't be able to rescue workers safely on the ground in case of emergencies. Next, the inspection method for automatic safety switch is as follows. 
raise the platform to a certain level, cut off the power, activate the emergency safety switch, and check if the platform is lowered slowly. Tampering with the automatic safety switch may lead to rollovers while driving when working in high places. Next, the inspection method for excessive elevation proof device is as follows. When raising the platform, activate the excessive elevation proof device to make sure that the platform stops and check for deformations or damages. If the excessive elevation proof device is not installed, the worker may get stuck between the upper structure and the platform while the platform is being raised. Next, the hydraulics inspection method is as follows. Make sure that the hydraulic pump and cylinders are free of external deformations and make sure there are no leaks in the hydraulic connections. Leaks in the hydraulic cylinders may cause failure of proper functions. Next, the inspection method for foot switch is as follows. The cover on the foot switch must be intact without deformations or damages and function properly. Tampering with the foot switch during operation may cause malfunctions and result in rollovers or collisions. Next, the inspection method for control levers is as follows. Make sure that the control lever is installed appropriately and functioning properly. Damaged control levers may cause malfunctions that lead to serious accidents. Next, the inspection methods for warning light and alarm are as follows. Make sure that the warning light and alarms function properly when the scissor lift is moving, being raised, or lowered. If the warning light doesn't function properly, nearby workers may not acknowledge the work in progress and it may result in collisions. Next, the inspection methods for working platform and main structure are as follows. Make sure that the main unit, rails and platforms are free of cracks, corrosion or deformations. Also make sure that the door opens toward the inside of the platform. If the work platform is damaged or if it opens toward the outside, it raises the chances of workers falling to the ground. Lastly, the inspection methods for the wheels are as follows. Make sure that wheels are not damaged and that all bolts are in place and tightened firmly. Damaged tires may affect the balance of the platform and may result in rollovers. Here are the safety management points. Workers must wear a helmet and safety belt at all times. Always set up a work perimeter. Never drive the platform while the platform is raised. Never tamper with safety devices. And do not attempt to turn on the device using any object other than the power key. Listed above, basic safety rules must be obeyed at all times. On site, the supervisor must review safety beforehand through work plans and other documents before the scissor lift is brought into the site. The supervisor must also prevent possible accidents by inspecting it correctly before and during operation. This has been the inspection method using the standard safety inspection checklist for scissor lift and safety management points. Thank you.